Location, location, location. Does your location of your business matter for success? And that's a two part answer. You know, it can be yes and it can be no, right? Are you an online business? Do you sell online? Do you thrive online? Can you sell, you know, throughout the country, throughout the world? Are you global? Can you do that? Can, what's your reach in your business? Or are you a brick and mortar and you're on a main street that, you know, only has certain draw of customers? Like, where are you? So you need to figure out that within your business. Does your location matter to your particular business, right? But you can go on a broader scale. You know, does location matter for success? In our business, unfortunately, our location, we're in Rochester, New Hampshire, you know, a small city in in New Hampshire, which is a great city, and we've built a great business. Number one fastest growing company in New Hampshire, you know, number 323 on the Inc. 500. And our location, you know, is what we, we need and what we prosper and what we, what we do with our location is is what we get with our location, right? We can, you know, say all day long that we can't, you know, hire, you know, good talent, good employees, because we have good employees on the floor. We are, you know, great owners, right? And something GC Grant Cardone said the other day that, that blew my mind was, you know, location don't matter because at the end of the day, where are you? You're in that location. So if you're using the location as a, an excuse, to not be able to get good employees, to not be able to build a, a brand, build a business, you know, that's just an excuse because your location at the end of the day shouldn't matter, right? Because if you're there, your location should be great. And if it's not, you gotta rethink how you think about yourself. And when he said that, because we use the excuse, right? And, and I'll say it up front, it's an excuse that we can't hire, you know, good employees uh, on a, on a a huge basis, like a scalable basis, because we have a small hiring pool. Uh, and, and there's some truth to that. You know, we draw like hours away, you know, people, we have, you know, Boston's like an hour away, Portsmouth's about 30 minutes, and could we move locations? Yeah, but have we built a business in this location? Yeah, do we get good employees, great employees? Yes, um, but why do we use that excuse? And, and it's just, it's in my mind, but, if we're gonna build a company culture, you know, a company values, core values, you know, we should be able to get those all-star employees. And there's no excuses. There's no excuses. And when I listened to that video, I was just, my, my mouth dropped. Like, it's so true, right? Location, location, location. Does it matter to a point? Yeah, but should it matter? No, because if you're in that location, that location should be the best location possible, period, point blank. That location is your location. So make it great. So, you know, does location matter for success? After hearing GC say that, absolutely not. Cause you make your location what you make of your location, right? You could be in Alaska, you could be in you know, Utah, you could be in Orlando, you could be in New York, wherever you are, you're there, right? So your location, I'm going against everything that I have said for the past six years because, you know, GC's made it and I, I, he's someone I, I listen to because someone that ha, is where, you know, I want to be, right? And he moved locations from Cali to Miami and, you know, he's global now. But, you know, I used to think our locations matter so much to our success, but we've built a brand, we've built a business, we've built employees, we have great employees in our location right now, today. So in my opinion, it's changed. Location does not matter for your success doesn't.